Hi everyone, the ADA grade optimization is called as adaptive gradient here which is extension of the gradient descent algorithm uh, which is using negative gradient of an objective function to locate the lo uh, global minimum of the function. So the global minimum will give you the minimum error for your cost function. The limitation of the uh, gradient descent is here which is using same step size for the learning rate whenever we are updating the parameter for the given input features. You look at that here in this cost function uh, the gradient descent is using uh, the same uh, alpha value for all the epochs or iterations okay so that is creating the issue here which is need of different amount of curvatures in the different dimensions that means you look at here this is the stochastic gradient learning curve which is taking many number of oscillations and also different dimension different size of oscillations with magnitude to reach the uh, convergence point so we need uh, different uh, learning rate for learning rate for each and every parameter given with the input features to uh, make that uh, learning curve smoother and reach the converging point faster so for th that kind of uh, issue can be solved by using the adaptive gradient method which is an extension of the gradient descent optimization and which is allowing different learning rate for each and every weight when it is applying the back propagation method in the real world data set uh, few input features are sparse sparse in the sense most of the features will have values zero in the input data set suppose when you are having the input data set here we will have the input features uh, x1 x2 etc etc xn at that time most of the features will have the value zeros okay so that type of uh, features are called sparse input features suppose if we have uh, values uh, with non-zero values like 1 2 0 0.1 like that then that kind of features are called dense features okay so in this kind of scenario the same learning rate will not give you the uh, good optimization that means it will not reach the convergence point faster so we need a different learning rate for each and every epoch or iteration by adapting the learning rate to each and every parameter available in the input features so the ADA grade is using low learning rates for the parameters which are associated with the frequently occurring features but which is using high learning rates for parameters which are associated with infrequently occurred features or rare features. So when we are using different learning rate uh, for different kind of features will suitable for uh, the real time data set which is having sparse data. For example, uh, during uh, the training phase some features might reach near to the converging stage where only it needs a small adjustment that means suppose um, um, our uh, two weights weight 1 is uh, 0 0.5 and weight 2 is here we are having 0 0.9 right you assume that we need to bring this weights into uh, the uh, convergence point for example 0 0.3 Three. Okay, so you assume this is the zero uh, value of value for converging point. Okay, so we have to bring this two parameters in uh, towards the 0 0.3. So when we are bringing this W1 to the 0 0.3, we need small adjustment. Okay, small adjustment that means small updation, right? But when you are um, bringing this 0 0.9 to 0 0.3 we need some uh, ma uh, some uh, higher value adjustment okay so some higher value adjustment so this kind of uh, uh, updation can be done by using the different learning rates okay so learning rate should be different to make this kind of adjustment to uh, make the converging process faster so that is the um, 
purpose the ada grade is using a different learning rate for each and every parameters during the training phase the weight update rule is here given or uh, the new weight is updated with previous step weight wt minus 1 minus eta t so that means this is the learning rate we are using here and the gradient of uh, error with respect to uh, w of t minus 1 so we are going to calculate the gradient of the previous uh, using the previous weight for the calculating of new weight parameter. So, here eta t is having a different learning rate. You look at that alpha t is the different learning rate for each weight at each iteration. So, the which is giving in the denominator eta t divided by square root of alpha t cap plus uh, epsilon. So, here yeah, epsilon is giving you small positive constant to avoid the error which is caused by division by 0. That means when our alpha t becomes 0, then this uh, term will become 0. Okay. So, when you are not having the uh, epsilon, then eta by anything, eta by 0 will give you infinity. So, um, uh, it will give you small updation. Okay. So, it will not give you uh, updation, uh, uh, updation to the uh, weight parameter when it is becoming infinity. Okay, so that's why. Uh, so when it is becoming zero, this also will becoming zero. So that's why uh, it will not give you uh, the faster convergence. So to avoid that, we are going to use epsilon value here. Okay, so epsilon value give you small positive constant, then uh, the eta t when it is becoming zero also, it will give you some positive constant, it will make the uh, small updation in the learning rate eta t. So that's why we are using the epsilon here. The alpha t is having the squared gradient value with respect to the previous weight step. Okay, so when it is using the uh, squaring gradients, which is giving you updation uh, in the alpha t uh, which is always greater than the alpha t minus 1 and also uh, when it is squaring up the negative gradient suppose if it is available like that which is also bringing the positive value right like this so always the alpha t value will become positive constant when uh, uh, you are looking this equation alpha t okay alpha t is inversely proportional inversely proposed to the eta t okay so from this equation when you are increasing the alpha t automatically eta t is becoming low so this makes the alpha t alpha uh, alpha t uh, makes the equation uh, adaptively update the eta t value that means this uh, alpha t is uh, uh, make uh, changes the uh, uh, eta t adaptively for each and every iterations. So, when uh, the uh, eta t is uh, decreasing, it needs more number of iterations to reach the convergence point, but the, uh, uh, the alpha t is updating the eta t by changing this alpha t at every iteration. So, we need not to select the uh, learning rate manually like another algorithms. So, and also alpha uh, t makes the uh, per, uh, makes the learning rate uh, uh, learning rate changes at each epoch here like this. So, this is making the converging uh, faster than other algorithms. So, advantages of this ADA grade is here no manual tuning is needed for alpha alpha, and uh, due to um, uh, giving different alpha rates for uh, different parameters for each iteration making the faster convergence and more reliable. One of the disadvantages here when alpha t is becoming large suppose uh, the eta, eta t is is inversely proportional to alpha t okay so when alpha t becomes larger value for example we are giving 5 or 50 like that so when it is increasing like this the eta t will become less okay so it needs more number of iterations when you are getting very 
minimum value here you see 830 is very less then you will get many minimum updation uh, minimum change in the new weight value so it makes our slower convergence uh, to reach the uh, 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 value the cost close to the zero so this is one of the main advantage in the ada grade thanks for watching